There's a new exhibition at the Smithsonian Museum of African Arts profiling heroes who embody principles of African greatness. VOA's Grace Oyenubi takes us to the show. These forgotten histories caught across mid-century liberation independence struggle in Africa, telling stories of key heroic principles and people in Africa's arts and history, including former South African President Nelson Mandela, former Ghanaian President Kwame Nkrumah, celebrated author Chimamanda Adichie, renowned South African singer Miriam Makeba, and several others that might not be known internationally. What this new technology allows us is for people to come into our spaces and they can see, if they wish, a traditional exhibition of truly exceptional objects, beautifully curated. But if you wish, you can, of course, read the labels for an additional layer of interpretation. Um, so what you'll see that we do through the high technology is that we connect each of those ideas, each of those objects, with a specific person in African history whose, whose life could be said to be sort of emblematic of that particular idea. Kesley Hayford says curator Kevin Dumochel and a team at the museum have developed a digital framework to enhance visitor experience by telling stories about the art and the histories that they represent. Dumochel said when he started this project two years ago, his focus was on the art of storytelling. He explains this latest exhibition. What this exhibition does fundamentally is look at um, art and artists who are teaching us something about how to be the best version of ourselves. Uh, each one of the objects that you'll see featured in Heroes is keyed to a specific, what I identify as a specific principle of heroic leadership. Empathy, dignity, justice, pride. I would come into the gallery with my phone, walk up to it, after I say read, hold my phone up and you'll, you'll see this automatically appears. And what it is is a title card and then if I press or swipe, I get a video of Gus with captions so you don't have to have headphones if you don't want. But I'm just going to tap through and um, if you'd like, actually you can take this phone and we can walk to another object and you can try this for yourself. The exhibition opened to the public with nearly 50 artworks from more than 40 artists. Grace Oyenubi, VOA News, Washington.